You want to know how to use the Hello 360 Lite? Let me present it to you with all its features. I'm Gerald, welcome to our YouTube channel. When I designed the 360 Halo Lite, I made it so it is small, compact, and easy to use. There are three main features on it. The first one being the on-off button, quite obviously. Press it once, it turns on. Press it twice, rapidly, and it turns off. You can see the green light will appear. Right next to it is the dimmable light, dimmable feature. This will allow you to get 20% of power, 40%, 60%, and 80% to 100%. The 100% gives you a total of 755 lumens. That's very bright. The last button is the color temperature, which will give you three basic temperatures, cold, medium, and warm. 2800, 3600, and 5300 Kelvin. There are two plugs on the halo light that are protected by a rubber cover. One is the USB-C to be able to charge the Hello Light, slow charging, and an external USB-A plug to charge up any other external device, obviously for a 360 camera. Usually these cameras have very small batteries, and the Hello Light has a big battery, so take advantage of the power bank of the Hello Light to charge your external camera if you're doing a long shoot in 360. Hello Light is made from black anodized aluminium. This is to better dissipate the heat of the Hello Light because at full power it does get quite hot. On the top is a quarter inch male thread with the anti slip ring, and on the bottom a quarter inch female thread with the anti slip ring too. So when you put it down or you assemble it with another part, it doesn't move and stays in position. How to use your 360 Hello Light with your camera? Very simple, basic solution is to screw it directly on top of the Hello Light. Screw it on, then you can take your 360 shot. You will still have a little bit of the halo light on the down shot and you will have a small footprint. If you want to improve your shot and limit the footprint of the halo light, what you can do is add the quarter inch spacer between the camera and the halo light. By adding the quarter inch spacer will give you two advantages. The first one is it will limit the footprint of the halo light on your 360 shot. And the second one is, if you need to access the plugs under your camera, then you can do so. Once you have your setup done, you can turn your Hello Light on. Right now, I click it once to put it on, and then 20% power. You can go up, and if you don't have enough power, you can always stack two or three extra Hello Lights on top of each other. You have two Hello Lights, you can both turn them on and set up the different power that you need. 20% and 20%. So your setup is working well. You have both Hello Light at full power. You have enough light. You're happy with your shot. But if you have a face or a person in the shot, you might want a more natural light. To get this natural light, you would need to place the Hello Light above the lens of the camera. Then you would use the bracket to improve your lighting environment. I created the bracket in order to be able to put the Hello Light above the lens of the camera. Put the camera here, screw it in nice and tight, and the halo light goes above the camera. With this setup, one light under and one light above, I would always recommend to have the light on the top as high as possible. The bracket is made for that, to be able to push it up. Now, to get a more natural light, I would always put 100% on top and just a couple of clicks up on the bottom light. This gives it much stronger light on the top and light reflects from the ground, just like the sun, and back to you. This gives it a more natural light, more natural feeling. Of course, if you were not happy with this natural lighting, you can reduce the light from the bottom and put it maybe just at 20% or a little more, but not too much. Always the top one and maximum power. If you did want to put a third light, I would consider putting the third light on top and full power because the light from the top is always more natural. I will show you how to charge your camera at the same time as you're using your setup with the power bank of the Hello Light. I will use the quarter inch spacer and put it, of course, between the camera and the bracket. 
to be able to access the plugs from under the camera. I'll use the magic cable to charge the 360 camera with the halo light. I plug it up in the output of the halo light and right to the camera. You will see that this will not change any output of the halo light. If it's a 20%, it will stay at 20% and so on. Thanks guys for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Cheers.